Hey, Chef Austin here with EverythingKitchens.com. The summer months are finally here and that means it's time for some of my favorite summer treats. Homemade ice cream and cold brew coffee. Now you might be thinking, what do these things have in common? They're actually both really delicious during these hot summer months. They're both easy to make and they go great together. We're gonna to be making some cold brew ice cream floats and we're gonna show you exactly how to do that. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is to make our cold brew coffee. And to do that, we're gonna be using the OXO cold brew coffee maker. OXO makes it so simple to make cold brew coffee, it's almost impossible to mess it up. The device itself is pretty simple. It has a base, it has a brewing container, and it has a glass carafe to collect your finished cold brew coffee. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to install the metal filter in the bottom of the base. So we've already done that. The next step we need to do is to add our coffee. So the coffee that I have here is from a local barista. I recommend getting the best quality coffee you can get. This is a medium roast and it is a coarse ground. So you can use other styles of coffee. This is the style we found works best for cold brew. So we're gonna dump this right into our container. And this is 10 ounces or about three and a half cups by volume. Then we need to add the water. I'm gonna put the OXO Rainmaker lid on here. This Rainmaker lid has all these little holes in it. And what that's going to do is going to allow our water to evenly distribute and completely soak our coffee beans. And you'll notice a rainfall effect that happens when you're pouring your water over this Rainmaker lid. It's a lot of fun. All right. And then we're going to take this, put it back on the base. And that's really it. Now we have to wait. So with cold brew coffee, we are replacing heat with time. So to extract all the goodness out of these coffee beans, we're going to wait 20 to 24 hours for this cold brew to complete. And then in the meantime, we're gonna be making some vanilla ice cream. Now that our cold brew is doing its thing, it's time to make some homemade vanilla ice cream. And believe it or not, it's just three ingredients you probably already have at home. All you'll need is a Cuisinart ice cream maker. I really like this style ice cream maker because it uses a freezer bowl. So this replaces the need to buy bags and bags of ice, that special ice cream rock salt and any other chemicals you might need for a traditional ice cream maker. But Cuisinart just makes it so simple and it makes some high quality ice cream. So for our ice cream base, we are going to add two cups of heavy cream, our first ingredient. To that, we're going to add one can or 14 ounces of sweetened condensed milk. And this is going to be our sugar content. Then we'll add one tablespoon of pure vanilla extract And our secret ingredient is flaky sea salt. I'm gonna do a big pinch of flaky sea salt. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna bring out the natural flavor of that sweetened condensed milk and bump up that vanilla flavor a little bit. It's gonna be so good. We're just gonna mix this together until it's combined. All right, now all we have to do is add this to our Cuisinart. I'm gonna to go to the freezer and grab our freezer bowl. And we're going to put our freezer bowl into our machine. And then we're going to add our mixing paddle into our freezer bowl. We'll put the lid back on. And now all we need to do is pour the ice cream base into the machine.
So now instead of having to manually churn for what seems like hours and add ice and make sure your ice cream is actually freezing, all we have to do is turn the power switch on. That's it. In about 25 minutes from now, our ice cream will be finished churning. So our ice cream is finished churning and you could eat this right out of the ice cream machine right now, but we don't want to do that. This is more like a soft serve consistency and we're looking for a hard scoopable consistency for our floats. We're going to pour the ice cream from the Cuisinart into our container and let it harden up in the freezer overnight. And by that time, our cold brew will be ready to go. All right, it's been about 20 hours and our cold brew coffee is ready to finish. So OXO makes the whole process incredibly simple, including draining the cold brew concentrate from the beans. All we have to do is slide in this glass carafe down here and we're going to hit this lever and it's going to drain out our concentrate. So it doesn't look like a whole lot, but this is cold brew coffee concentrate. So you are going to have to dilute this. And we do recommend a one to two ratio. So that's one part cold brew coffee concentrate to part other liquid, whether that be milk or water. And this batch right here is going to make about 12 to 14 drinks total. So, I mean, that's like enough for the whole week for the family. The OXO also includes this little lid right here. So this lid will go on the glass carafe when this is done draining, but this lid also doubles as your measuring device. There's a line right here, and this line is a two ounce marker. So you're gonna put two ounces of your cold brew coffee concentrate to four ounces of your water and milk to make your drinks. This batch right here will take around 20 minutes to drain at a coarse grind. If you used a finer grind, it will take longer. Just be patient. It will slowly drip and finish. And as soon as that's done, we're going to make our cold brew ice cream floats. I'm so excited. Okay, our cold brew is finished draining and now it's finally time to make some cold brew floats. Move this out of the way. We've got our lovely cold brew coffee concentrate. So to start this float, we are going to prepare our glass. You'll want a nice tall glass for this. And what I'm gonna do, completely optional, but I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of caramel sauce on the side. You need to know homemade caramel sauce is great. This is just caramel sauce from the store that I put in the squeeze bottle. Add a little sea salt to it and it's, it's good to go. All right, it's gonna add a little bit of sweetness to this. And then we're gonna fill this cup with crushed ice. You wanna fill it about three fourths of the way. Don't fill it all the way to the top. You'll need a little bit of space for your ice cream. Then we're going to do two ounces of cold brew coffee concentrate. So I'm going to use my little measurement tool here, fill it up to the line. This cold brew smells so strong. I'm so excited for this. All right, we'll pour that right in there. Then you'll want to take some sparkling water and we're going to add about four ounces of sparkling water or just to about the top of your glass. Oh, look how pretty that is. All right. And then I've got my ice cream. It's been tempering in the freezer overnight. So now it's hard and scoopable. And we'll take our ice cream scoop. A nice big rounded scoop. We're gonna put that right on top. Oh, 
gorgeous. All right, and then we're going to garnish that. I've got our Dean Jacobs ice cream topper right here. We've got four different toppings. We're gonna do a little bit of chocolate crunch right on top. All right. And the most important part, your liquid transport device. We got a extra long bendy straw. Twirl that, put that right in there. And there you have it, cold brew ice cream float. Let's take a little sip. So good. The caramel and the ice will melt. You mix this up a little bit and the ice cream starts to melt in there, make it a little sweeter. It's such a great treat for summer. Our cold brew coffee floats turned out so good. And it was easy because we had the right tools. If you want any of these awesome tools like the Cuisinart ice cream maker or the OXO cold brew coffee maker, you can get them on everythingkitchens.com. And if you like this video, be sure to give us a like and subscribe for more great content. We'll see you next time.